And the spacecraft Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, also known as JUICE, has finally embarked on its eight-year journey across the solar system in a search for an answer to the age-old question, are we alone in this universe? Our JUICE is heading to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, and it will explore some of its moons that may hide life-harboring oceans beneath their surface. The ESA-led mission includes contributions from NASA as well as the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. It was due to blast off yesterday, but the launch was delayed due to unfavorable weather. For more, let's get to Trent Murray. He's in Darmstadt, Germany for us. Trent, we've had liftoff, but all the handshakes, all that celebration, it's on the ground. Tell us about the mood there right now. <laughs> Well, Dawn, there's just an enormous sense of relief, I think, in many ways, that they finally got it off the ground, as you said, that Ariane 5 rocket, the real workhorse of the European space program, blasting off from French Guyana right at the top of South America, technically a French territory, which is why it's used. Uh, and it is now making its way uh, out to the outer atmosphere of Earth. Now, we have got two quite key milestones still coming up. We're not necessarily out of the woods yet in terms of the long term mission. Uh, in well, just under a minute or so, we expect this uh, spacecraft to connect for the first time to its ground station in Australia. It is from there that mission control here will be able to start talking to the spacecraft, controlling it if it needs to, using thrusters and the like. Then in just under an hour, another very pivotal moment when uh, enormous solar rays will extend out of the spacecraft. They measure about 85 square metres and they need that uh, solar power in order to make that eight year journey to Jupiter. It is a very, very big mission for the ESA, but certainly it seems that so far, so good. We just heard uh, all parameters are normal, which really is kind of science speak for saying all remains on track and it's looking good. Yeah, you, you were saying it's, it is a big mission for the ESA, but how significant is it, uh, you know, this launch to the further space ambitions of Europe? Yeah, well, look, I, I think when you look at what the scientific ambition in all of this, you realise uh, that they are trying to answer one of really the most elusive questions that humanity has always faced, which is, are we alone here uh, in the universe? What they want to do is to travel uh, out to Jupiter, and in particular, the three moons that orbit it, Ganymede, Callisto and Europa. Now, they believe that on those three moons, there is liquid water. It is deep underneath an icy surface of around 100 kilometres thick but nevertheless there is water down there and on one of those moons Ganymede there is also a magnetic field which helps protect the moon from the harmful radiation in space so when you start to put those things together according to scientists here you do get the building blocks potentially for life and that is what they want to find out that is why there has been so much um, work done to try and work out the habitability uh, of those three moons and of course when you speak to people here what they will say is look this is the ESA we're of course Europe focused but we work very closely with our space agency colleagues in Japan and in China and the United States and we're very excited to share all of that data with each other so we can uh, work out you know what to do next in many ways it's a very exciting mission and it's one that I think so far all remains on track and uh, we'll have to check back in in eight years time for an answer <laughs> right here on CNA. All right Trent I'll, I'll keep a date with you for that one. Trent Murray there talking to us from Darmstadt, Germany.